Good evening, my royalty Israelite kings and queens. Let me continue with the prophetic conversion, part A. In page 270, we read these words to clear that these kings who through ignorance or weaknesses suffered their power to be upserted by the emperor of the papacy. Okay, in other words, they gave their power over to the devil, but they getting ready to take it back, okay? Shall take it again. So in other words, those kings going to take their power back. Shall eat her flesh. Shall eat the papacy's flesh, okay? Shall enrich themselves with her benefits and revenues and burn her with fire. So go burn the papacy with fire, okay? Shall abolish the memory of this Romish empire so that nothing but ashes shall remain of it. And again, he says in page 276, the first thing which shall be done in the third period of the seventh vow is the fall of the tenth part of the city of the kingdom of France, which shall break with the court of Rome and wholly change the face of religion in that kingdom. So the religion, the face of religion is going to be changed, my people. It's already been changed, okay, even as I speak. This is the first action of the vengeance. The beast and the false prophet, the pope and his agents, shall rally all their forces. But God our Father endless shall suffer all his together and give the last blow to the popery, to the popery. Then the beast and the false prophet shall be thrown into the lake, the lake of fire that is, and plunge it into the bottomless pit. Babylon shall wholly fall, and it shall be said, she is fallen, she is fallen. Now the she they talking about is Babylon, okay? After some further observations, he goes on in page 260, and after these words signify, now after these words signify that when the reformation shall be established again in France by way of divine immediate operation, by which the zeal of by which the zeal of the apostate and of others who know the truth, but withhold it in unrighteousness. So they uphold the truth in unrighteousness. They know the difference. They just being the snakes that they are, okay? Shall be quickened again. Some space of time shall pass. Probably some years before France shall wholly throw off the yoke of the popery, of that stanky poke, okay? Now, when he falls, you know all hell gonna break loose. <laughs> okay, the good time are about to start. That kingdom shall not be entirely reformed by way of authority. Immediately after our reformation shall be again, set on foot by way of inspiration and recovering of zeal for and after signifies an intervene an intervene of time but whether it shall be short or long is not expressed it notwithstanding i see no livelihood that it shall be very long nor do i believe so oh no it's almost over people okay mentioning the time in which he expected these events 
This author says, part 2, page 50, that it will fall on the year 1785. Now, people, we know it didn't fall in 1785, so it's getting ready to fall now, okay? In which shall come the glorious reign of our Messiah, our brother, Isa, on the earth of which we shall speak afterwards. Again, in page 279, he goes on, duh, if I should be mistaken. So he letting you know he might be mistaken about the years, okay? If I should be mistaken nine or ten years. Well, it's been longer than nine or ten years that you was mistaken, but that's all right, because the time is here and it's now. I do not think that any could just justly treat me as a false prophet and accuse me of rashness. Many will not forbear to judge me rash because I propound my conjurgence about these things as certain conclusions. To this I have a second thing to say, that none has reason to be offended that I am possessed it with and persuaded of that which I think I evidently sees and that I find the proofs of what I propounded convincing to myself I should do ill to the man of others the same assurance and I oblige them to entertain the same for us. I declare the contrary in express terms. I am well content, as I have said, that my reader that my readers should account these assertions to be conjunctions, for provided that I may, provided that I may have the liberty to believe that I see or what I believe I see in the writings of the prophets. So that's what he see, okay? So we know it was in those years, so okay, he was off by a lot, but that's okay. The author afterwards treated more fully of the introduction of our brother, our Messiah, Isa's kingdom, page 376, places the order of events as follows. Number one, the papacy empire shall fall. Yes, bye-bye, Pope, with your funky ass and all your enemies and all that stuff, okay? After that, some years will be necessary to abolish sect and parties and compose the difference among Christians. Number three, that after this, many heathen nations and Jews shall be converted, for it cannot be thought that they should be converted while Christians are so much at variance among themselves and seeking the destruction of one another. Number four, after the conversion of the Jews, the remainder of the most remote nations shall also be converted. Now, for all this, there must be time. For should we think that God, our Father, endless, will act in a more miraculous manner in this than in the establishment of the first Christian church? Wherefore, as the Christian church was near an hundred years in its first settling, no less will be necessary perfectly to resettle it, and then shall that blessed kingdom come, which we expect, not but there is some probability that God our Father endless 
may begin to compare the thousand years from the fall of the from the fall of the Antichrist even before the conversion of the Jews and Gentiles. And so the fall of the Antichrist and so the fall of the anti-Christian kingdom, it had already failed, people. And the conversion of the nations may in some forth be comprehended within the reign of our brother, our Messiah, our Isa, for a thousand years. Meaning it may, it's going to take place in that time, people. Okay. But when we speak here of the kingdom of our brother, our Messiah, our Isa, we speak of it as in its perfection, which will not be till after these things are come to pass. Among the characters of our brother, our Messiah, our Isa's reign, the fallen are the most striking. Page 378. The fourth character of this ring of our brother, our Messiah, our Isa, is a foreign is a sovereign peace it is a sovereign peace people this is plainly revealed it by many experts so it's plainly revealed it by many expert people many experts people press shall i mean excuse me my people presses prophecy that the wool that the wolf shall feed with the lamb and swords be turned it into plowshares and men shall not burst or destroy one another so you understand my people that the wolf shall feed with the lamb and swords be turned into plowshares and men shall not hurt or destroy one another. The art of war which sprung from hell, I mean, the art of war which sprung from hell shall return there, shall return back to hell, my people. Nothing but the corruption and wickedness of the world does make it necessary. The devil of covetousness and of ambition the spirit of revenge and the light shall return to the bottomless pit so all that crap came out the bottomless pit okay whence they came and it shall no more be a point of honor to know how to massacre mankind to storm towns and gain battles and destroy countries and cover the fields with dead bodies. That's all y'all Psalm 83 bastards been doing. Get out of here. Y'all gonna be done away with, okay? Then follows his fifth character in these words. For, so very remarkable when we consider what has lately taken place in France with respect to Pius, Armory, Armour's barons and livelies this shall be a kingdom of humi humility all those vain titles which now serves for ornaments and pride shall then be vanquished brotherly love shall make all men equal not that all pay attention my people not that all distinction and all dignities most men shall cease. This kingdom is no, now this kingdom, pay attention what this kingdom, this kingdom, this kingdom is no anarchy. So it's not going to be no anarchy shit going on up in here, okay? There shall be some to govern and to obey, but government shall then be without pride and insult, without tyrants and without violence. 
subjects shall obey 